Um, Miss, is it Parks? Will that work or just Miss? Okay, come on up. All right, so I know that you have been live streaming um, pretty much this entire trial, uh, and I'm sure probably the pretrial proceedings as well, and it came to both the court's attention and defense counsel's attention um, recently that you had been um, on your, what do you call those things that you do? It's not a podcast, that's, it's, or it's, is it? Do you still call it that? It is a podcast, okay. but it's... A video podcast. Video. Okay. okay. Anyway, we'll call it a podcast. Okay. That you had been, um, and I know that you say in your letter that you didn't reveal any personal identifying information, and I think that you did not reveal enough to actually identify any of the jurors, but you were referring to where different people sat and their race and gender and that is personally identifying information. And then you were giving them derogatory names. And you say in the letter that you provided to me this morning um, that you have always operated um, with great integrity, uh, that the content you share represents factual reporting, and that you do your reporting with the and I'm, these are all quotes from yes. your letter, the utmost respect and integrity for all involved. Do you believe that any of those three statements that you made to me this morning is actually true about the names you were given those jurors? I just wanna give you the names were movies that I like. And you know, SpongeBob is my daughter's favorite cartoon. Do you think that those yeah, showed I... respect and integrity to the jurors? Well, I didn't think it were bad names at all. Glasses, nose. Um, no, I didn't think it was bad names. I so, know all the names. The utmost respect and integrity? I think it depends on the individual. Well, to me, I felt it was utmost and respect. Well, I do not feel that. Oh. That seems like the kind of thing that a kind of mean person does on the playground in grade school. You think so? I do. I don't think that shows the least bit of respect or integrity to the jurors or to the court system. So if you are going to, and, and let me ask you this, you talked in your um, letter about being media and freedom of the press. Do you consider yourself to be press and media and journalism? I consider myself being a content creator I create content for the community okay. and give information. Um, as far as journalism, I didn't go to school. I've taken well, and some I mean, classes you don't have and to, things like but... that. But I, I mean, the information I believe is very vital for the community. Well, I, I don't disagree. I mean, this is court. It's one of the most important things we do in our country. Um, but you say my role is to deliver news and information. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, do you, to that extent, consider, and you say you want to represent factual reporting. So do you, to that extent, consider yourself to be media, even if it's non-traditional media? Yeah, I would think I would because I've been, I've taken courses of like okay. etiquette and things like okay. that. But as far as, um, okay. And then, and the other thing too, with my channel, it's more like some sort of like easy going friendly type of thing where people don't feel like it's just uh, i'd love for you to keep it friendly okay that would be great okay and i will i will never use the names anymore if it offend anybody because i that was never my intention to offend anyone okay i was just using names of movies that i like twister um spongebob right. and well those you know things like i that. mean i i realize that if you're trying to create content that fills you know the entirety of every day that sometimes you probably have to reach out somewhere to whatever pops in your mind at the time. But I would ask that before you do that, that you actually do keep in mind that this is a court proceeding. Mm -hmm. And I know a whole lot of people seem to be watching this as entertainment, but this is not entertainment mm -hmm. for any of the people involved here. Really this is very serious. And it does a disservice, I think, to everybody mm -hmm. when 
the coverage is flippant in the way that I think that was, okay? Mm -hmm. And I know you've got every right to do that if you want to. I would just prefer that you not. I won't. And I am going to um, give you this. Um, it's a code of ethics that the Society of Professional Journalists follows as a guideline. Okay. And, I mean, you're not, you're not required to abide by it. It's not the law. But it might be helpful for you to take a look at it I and just, will. you know, use it as a guideline. I definitely will. Okay. I so if will. you can do that for me and um, try to be respectful and treat this with integrity, then you may come back in and um, continue to live stream. Definitely. All right. I appreciate it. Thank I'm you. I'm going to hand this up to you. Okay. All right, I don't know if y'all have had an opportunity you now. We can get back to our um, issues with, or potential issues with some of the exhibits that may be used during the cross. Yes, Your Honor. All with right. The court's permission, may I maintain my seat because I'm looking at You may. So um, in the drop box that we've received from Defendant Williams um, included are what appear to be, and I'll just take them in turn, exhibit number 15 alpha for defendant Williams appears to be a video of LeBron James uh, dabbing up someone and wiping his nose and saying slime okay um we object to that on what basis relevance grounds i suspect the relevance is gonna well i don't want to speak for you mr Steele. what's the relevance it just shows that this is not unique to ysl okay well I or mean, in a gang also your honor it's already in evidence it's already in evidence anyway <laughs> that's, it's already an that's possible. It's probably, it may have gotten. It, it, that may have been the case, uh, and if and that's if the it's case, not, not, I I'm can see. I, okay. I'm going to overrule the relevance objection okay. to the extent it's not in evidence. All right. Any other? And yes, there are uh, apparently. Um, so I'll name them again. Sixteen Alpha from Defendant Williams is a, a person, an, a person unknown to the state, a random person. Um, in what appears to be a TikTok video, and this person is, they're singing, okay, apparently they're singing Defendant Williams' song, okay, and they're saying, and, and he's saying slat, 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 they're lip syncing to it, it's a young female wearing a skull cap, lip syncing to defendant Williams song. Which number is this? She, okay, in the beginning, there's no skull cap. She oh, just okay. got her hair straight down. Okay. And then later on, there's a young lady in a skull okay. cap. Um, we object on two grounds, relevance and in as much as it is defendant Williams statements, his, mm -hmm. his statements, we would object as okay. Um, uh, self state self quotations. I, I don't understand this. You know, there is no right. objection or, or, that is our evidentiary objection that is let me, self quotation. Self serving hearsay. It's hearsay, Your Honor, and there's no exception for it. So I'll leave it okay. at that. It's it's non hearsay. I'm not using it for the truth. I'm mm -hmm. just showing what exactly now, Mr. Sledge said that slime is just used. Slat is just used. He says used by people all over the world. He said people can say YSL. They're YSL. There's no initiation. I don't know though, Your Honor, if he right. has seen these before. So the, I'm just, the what? You you don't know what? I don't know if I could lay a foundation. I don't know if he's seen these before. So I would show um, it to him beforehand. So, I mean, if this is an exhibit that's showing somebody lip syncing to one of your clients videos where he uses whatever this terminology is that doesn't establish anything other than he put these things in a song and people sing his songs that doesn't establish that 
she or anybody else would have used that terminology otherwise. So I'm going to exclude that. That does not show what you allege it to show. I think that goes to potentially uh, wait, but I understand the court's ruling. Additionally, Your Honor, uh, 16 Bravo from Defendant mm -hmm. Williams is a video that I, I think it's safe to say has not been tendered previously. And it is, as it's loaded, it's a, a young man uh, whom we don't know the identity of, mm -hmm. who is, I think, either singing or lip syncing. He is. He's lip syncing defendant song. All right, let me say that anybody who is just some random person lip syncing or singing a song that Mr. Williams put out does not establish anything other than once he puts out these songs, people like the lyrics and sing the lyrics and that doesn't establish anything other than that. That it is now in common parlance in the music business is probably not even an issue. So I think that that is the case for 16 Alpha, 16 Beta, 16 Charlie, 16 Del Delta, 17 Alpha, 17 Beta, 17 Charlie, 17 Delta. Um, no, that's wrong. So it so would be under 16A through F would okay. be consistent with this honorable court's All ruling. Right. I will not in, uh, attempt to introduce it. Right. 17A through E, um, some of them have already been admitted. Um, other ones are similar. It's just uh, people um, who are using the nose wipe, if you know what I'm talking about, the finger across the nose. Okay. And that's what those are. And those are already in or no? No, not all of them, all right. but no. some and of them. And do we know when these um, came into existence? Yes. Um, Mr. Trontavious Stevens and Jeffrey Williams exhibit or JW exhibit number 17A. Uh -huh. is already in evidence and it's already marked 7 through E. Judge, can we confirm that? Because I don't have uh, that same memory of 17 sure. Alpha. Sure, and I guess and at some point we really do need to sit down and sort out the evidence that came before me, but yes. All right, so we do not have that same memory and to the extent that it is not, if it is not, we would object on relevance grounds. It is an unknown person just do I. All right, do you know when it came into existence, yes. roughly? Uh, we have the exact date. It's also 15, I think I said 17. You, you 15A. Uh, 15A is LeBron James, right? Already in, and uh, Mr. Co Kumo is getting the date, if that's okay. So you already talked about 15, if it's. So 15A is not LeBron James lip syncing, is it? <laughs> it's LeBron January James. January 2nd. Uh, 22nd, 2024 was admitted into heaven. Yes, January so 22. Is 2000. he also lip syncing one of Mr. Williams' songs? Mr. LeBron James is coming into a locker room. Uh huh. He has teammates. He's a basketball player. <laughs> yep. I, I know you know that. But, <laughs> I know. Um, you're, you're setting up for the record. Um, He's one of the most famous people yes. in the world. Yes. He's greeting um, his teammates. Okay. And as he's greeting, he's doing different type of greetings, and one of them is the wiping of the nose. Okay. And that's what it is. Okay. Other people in there, and I have to look to get the exact numbers, but is a baseball player on the Padres. Last name is Musgrove, M-U-S-G-R-O-V-E. He throws a pitch on the diamond, 